Things don't always move at breakneck speed in the caravan world, but my goodness, they certainly have done with the 2017 Compass models. They've uh, ripped it up and started again with three completely new ranges, one of which is the Casita. Uh, this particular model, one of the two twin axles, the unique selling point there is that they're both eight feet wide. Yes, eight feet. Casita means little house, and as we'll see in a second, they're not wrong. The Explorer Group, which manufactures the new Casita, calls its construction method SOLID, which is an acronym for strong, light and dry. And it certainly passes muster on the, the strong side of that because it's fully bonded construction with big, impressive, solid aluminium sidewalls. And there's a GRP underskin as well for another layer of uh, weather protection. Inside, it's really nice to behold with uh, lovely panel gaps throughout. Everything opens and closes as it should. And it's always nice to see dovetail joints on all the, the drawers. A really good showing. Yes, it's a big old thing. And so you'll need a, a tow car of a certain standing to hitch up to this one. But if you take care of that, then really there's nothing to be worried about as far as towing is concerned. You get the expected hitch stabiliser and the ATC electronic traction control system. And actually, uh, with uh, twin axles, you get a bigger footprint on the road for greater stability too, so you should have no problems. It's nicely balanced inside with all the heavy appliances over the axle, so get the match right and you'll have no problems towing the Casita. This is a very cleverly planned caravan with a very interesting layout indeed, mainly because of the extra wood. We've already seen how the, the lounge is spectacularly wide with plenty of uh, legroom and they've also been able to do something very clever with the washroom because of this extra few inches. You can think of it almost as, a, as an end washroom running through width of the caravan but placed along one side wall. Storage wise, again, uh, very good. All the, uh, the bed lockers and seat lockers are easily accessible by hatches in the front, although there aren't any exterior access hatches on, on this caravan, nor is there uh, an exterior main socket for use in the awning, for example. The, the loose fit carpets uh, sit very nicely and they're divided up into easily maneuvered sections if you'd want to leave them at home. The space doesn't really work so well in the middle of the caravan where the, uh, the side dinette eats into the uh, uh, corridor space and if you're working in the kitchen uh, you do feel that it's maybe a bit squeezed but uh, otherwise this is a very user-friendly caravan. This is where you really feel the benefit of all those extra inches. Just look at the legroom there is in this lounge. It really is quite palpable. It makes it a great caravan for entertaining friends, for example. Uh, nighttime makes up into a huge double, or it is long enough to have as two single beds, so you do have that option as well. Um, they're saying that the, the U-shaped centre lounge opposite the kitchen is a double bed. Well, perhaps it is if you have two small children. Otherwise, think of it as a really big single bed, very comfy one too. And then at the back, we have uh, two fixed bunks, both of really good quality. I can certainly vouch for the, uh, the lower one as being virtually adult sized and uh, very cosseting it is too. Both enjoying a, a window with a, a blind and fly screen and their own individual light too. The only uh, drawback perhaps there is that it's being marketed as a den for the kids but doesn't have a blind that pulls across to separate it off from the, the rest of the caravan. That would really add the finishing touch to a, a very good score in this category. There's a lot to like about this very smart kitchen. If you have a full complement of five or even six, then it's good to see that you have a dual fuel cooker with an electric hot plate to go with the, the gas burners, a separate grill and oven, and a microwave that's at a sensible mid-level height and a, an impressively sleek built-in fridge. Maybe a bit tight on the work surface, although there are a couple of uh, allies that you can uh, call upon. There's a little uh, extendable uh, section of uh, worktop that intrudes over the door space. And if uh, this table's free opposite, then you can also use that at serving up time. Uh, plenty of storage and it's really nicely lit with a couple of uh, very piercing LEDs, making sure that uh, everything's uh, well illuminated. So uh, yeah, high marks again. This is perhaps one of this new caravan's neatest tricks. When you first open the, uh, the washroom door, you're greeted with a bit of the wow factor. It's much bigger than you expect it to be, which is, as I say, is a consequence of the extra width that uh, they've been able to engineer in. It's got a separate shower cubicle right at the far end there, which is very spacious, uh, nicely lit with plenty of places to put stuff. Uh, there's plenty of storage. There's a, a, a nicely uh, shaped wash hand basin. Uh, it's well lit uh, day and night thanks to uh, uh, the big sunroof. So uh, yeah, really well done here. All the bases are covered. Four reading lights in the lounge, two in the side dinette, a light each in the bedroom, a really well lit kitchen and washroom, 
and power points everywhere you'd expect to see them. There are six in total. Uh, the, the heating and water is all controlled by touchscreen by the, uh, the entrance door, which is also where you find the master switch for the, the lights. Uh, there's a built-in stereo radio CD player with uh, iPod connectivity. So really everything is well taken care of. It's very much a, a caravan for the well-connected family. Wow, what a great new caravan for the 2017 model year. If you're in the market for a, a five or six berth, maybe better than as a five berth actually, this one, uh, then I strongly suggest you give this one a look. It's got great living space, an interesting layout, and I have to say at 21 and a half grand, really good value.